Hi, I'm Jason Falcon, physicist, martial artist, and author of the upcoming book, Fight Like a Physicist, from YMAA. This is protecting yourself from high energy strikes. We saw in the last video that human strikes tend to lie somewhere in this spectrum from high energy snap strikes to high momentum push strikes. High energy strikes tend to cause localized tissue damage like cuts or bruises, but do not have sufficient momentum to knock your opponent back. Uh, for this demonstration, I'll be using an Eskrima stick to provide our high energy strikes, but the same principles apply to punches, kicks, or strikes of any kind. So there's a number of ways you can deal with a high energy strike, uh, but we're gonna focus on absorbing and dispersing the energy. And the reason for that is these are the same methodologies used to create safety gear for martial arts and other contact sports. MMA gloves or boxing gloves are typically made from a gel or a foam that compresses on impact. And during this compression, a lot of the energy is spent, uh, which means there's very little left over to damage your own tissue. So if I were to take and a scream stick and strike my hand while wearing this glove, uh, the foam will compress and very little of it will get through to my fingers. Uh, even if I hit it really hard. So, that wasn't so bad. For high energy strikes, the tissue damage is all local to the area of impact. Uh, but if you can get a rigid material, in between yourself and the incoming strike, that rigid material can spread out the surface area of that strike. Uh, this is a good way to protect yourself from a high energy strike because if you can double the surface area of an incoming strike, you can reduce the damage done per unit area by half. So as an example, I'm gonna take two ballpoint pens uh, and balance these on my forearm. So these two ballpoint pens will increase the surface area of a strike with an Eskrima stick. And uh, I should be able to hit myself pretty hard like this. So let's see. Yeah. This is a strike with no protection whatsoever. So there you go. Two different ways to protect yourself from a high energy strike. You can either put a compressible material in the way and absorb some of the energy while compressing it, or you can put a rigid material in the way and spread the energy out over a larger surface area. Uh, doing these two things in combination is great, and that is the way most modern helmets are made.